Hello Virgos! This is your reading for June 2019. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Uh, thank you for coming. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. We're going to do a Celtic cross here. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see what love messages we get for my Virgos and love for June 2019. Oh, I left my glasses somewhere, guys. Hopefully we can get through this. And um, let's see. The energy that's around you guys here is a Six of Pentacles. I feel that um, there's something that you're feeling that is not fair. Um, that you are possibly contributing more to a situation than what another person is or this is a Taurus individual that you feel like um, is not doing what you feel like they're supposed to do. Um, they're not taking, fulfilling the responsibility that you feel like they should be taking on here. Okay. Let's see what's crossing you guys here. Yeah. Here we go, the Ten of Wands. You're feeling like, you know, you're carrying a lot of weight on your shoulders, that you're the one that's doing all of the work. Um, and that's challenging energy because there is a need for you to not take on everything by yourself. If there is somebody that you feel like is taking advantage of the way that you are, um, there is a need for you to release that burden. Okay. Sagittarius energy. Hmm. Let's see. Could be a Capricorn, I feel, uh, that is significant to some of you guys here. Okay. <clears throat> My underlying issue here is a tower. There, there's something going on that you feel like um, is not secure. Like, like shit could hit the fan at any given moment. This is Scorpio energy. Um, and, and I feel like you, there's a sense of falling and falling fast. And I'm feeling like there's a need for you guys to basically let something go. Tear something down. Because there, there's something that, that, this structure needs to be torn down. That means ways of doing things that are not working for you. Um, allowing people to overstep your boundaries, that sort of things. That needs to be rebuilt. So that structure is solid and non-moving here. Something you feel, I think, is falling to pieces. Or either it's getting ready to fall to pieces. It's like um, any given moment you feel. Let's see, in the recent past... We have the Knight of Wands there. Um, maybe some of you have left before. Or either you wanted to leave before. You've been contemplating. You've been thinking about it. And I'm, and I'm, I'm getting like you want to escape. There's a lot of things I feel that somebody here can't let go of from the past, things that have happened in the past, um, I felt there's somebody that's very flaky in, in your eyes. There's somebody that's not fulfilling their part of the relationship agreement, so to speak. And I'm feeling like you guys are wanting to run for the hills. Hmm. Let's see what your crowning thoughts are here. The Five of Cups. You know, it's like I'm getting that a lot of you really want to get out. Something is 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 really really tough on you, and it's nagging at you, and you feel like if you stay in this, um, that you're gonna come crumbling down with this tower but at the same time 
you don't want to leave because you don't want to have regrets um, surrounding leaving. So it's like you're in a pickle. You you don't want to you don't want to just leave because you feel like well maybe that's not the right choice. You know maybe you know it's all about being there through thick and thin with somebody here and possibly taking up the slack when the other person is not able to okay um so I i'm definitely getting like this push pull with you guys very emotional i feel even though the five of cups is the only cups energy here but i'm feeling like um you're scared you're unnerved for a lot of you Definitely could be Scorpio, Sagittarius, um, Capricorn energy, I feel. <clears throat> I feel like a lot of you are um, the breadwinners in your situations. You are the ones that make sure that, that the home front is um, clear and taken care of here. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Page of Cups that fell out. I'm, I'm strongly getting that either you guys are wanting to explore new emotional um, waters with someone else possibly or there is a three-party relationship for some of you or either you are thinking that there is um, a possible three-party relationship going on you're suspicious of it that maybe the person that you're with is very flirty um, that and I'm getting this for some of you that this person's probably giving their time their uh, attention to someone else another situation here and that possibly this person has cheated on you and it's quite possible that this person is having regrets too and they are scared that you're going to leave them Scorpio energy. Scorpio Sagittarius. What's coming in for my Virgos? Ten of Cups. We have two tens here. And then we have a tower. I feel like um, what's coming in for you guys is an emotional disconnect. Tens are endings. And I feel like there's there's something that's I, I, I'm feeling a breakup on the horizon for some of you, not all of you, but definitely an emotional disconnect. And I think the emotional disconnect is coming in, um, basically, for you to shield yourself, for you to protect yourself. And it's like that's the only way some of you feel like you can stay in this this connection with this person is if you disconnect from them emotionally but if you're feeling that way you know you're not going to be happy with that guys okay for those of you who this is resonating with which I hope it doesn't resonate with a lot of you because this is a this is not a good situation to be in here let's see how are my Virgos looking with this situation currently the nine of cups this is what I'm talking about the Nine of Cups, hang on guys, hang on one second. Now, the Ten of Cups here is an emotional disconnect, a breakup for some of you. The way you're looking at this is the Nine of Cups, like you've got to look out for your own interests. You've got to look out for what makes you happy and fulfilled. And so you're, some of you are already seeing this situation, even though you're still with this person, as you guys being single already doing what it takes to make you happy and if that calls for you know disconnecting from this person not talking to this person just kind of being there um, that is what I see uh, some of you guys doing here okay what is the influence for my Virgos this Piscean energy here with the ten and the nine of cups it's <clears throat> an influence for Virgo. The moon. Mm, 
no matter how you try to disconnect from this situation, the fact remains that um, you guys love this person. And they may have done things that you feel like um, were a betrayal. Or they've done things that you don't necessarily like, but at the end of the day, you can't help who you love. Your feelings still run so very deep for this person. A lot of you guys may have children with this individual. And there is a family dynamic here that you don't want to physically um, move away from. So what I'm getting is that you guys are thinking about everybody involved which is so a Virgo thing taking on the responsibility of the masses you know but I do see you here doing certain things to make yourself happy but um, you know staying in a relationship you know for the benefit of other people is is not at the end of the day what's going to make you happy but understand if you have children and things you know things can get kind of complicated with that you know, so I definitely understand and get it. Let's see, what are Virgo's hopes or fears? The Page of Wands. I'm getting that you guys want to start over. I think the spark has kind of left the situation for you. I feel like it's more of a responsibility for a lot of you. Um, but I'm, I'm getting that you guys want to get back out there. You want to get back out there because you definitely want to be happy. You want your wishes fulfilled and you don't really want to settle. But you don't want to leave people in a lurch either. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. What is the overall for my Virgos? Look at this. The Queen of Wands. <laughs> This is you guys, you know, the Queen of Wands is an admirable queen, whether male or female. Because this queen, yeah, she takes on a lot of responsibility for the people who she cares for or cares about. But she also takes the initiative. She has the confidence to start things. Um, she has the confidence to finish things. She has the confidence to do what it is that she needs to do. Not only for other people, but for herself. Okay. This is the queen that will step out on faith. This is Aries Leo energy for me. So I'm getting that a lot of you guys will eventually step out on faith, whatever that means for you. Right now, I'm, I'm getting this sense that a lot of you feel kind of trapped in this situation and you want to be released. And I feel that there's somebody that sees a transformation in you guys here. And they are very regretful about some things that have transpired before in the past. They want to make it up for you. I'm definitely seeing that this person loves you. They may have made some mistakes before. They may have involved you guys in a three-party relationship. Whether in a three-party relationship does not have to be um, an intimate relationship. It could be that they allow their friends to interfere. Okay, it could be that they allow their own um, insecurities to interfere. You know, um, it does not always have to be that there is actually somebody that this person is sleeping with, but there's definitely something that that is going on with you guys that um, you know you, you want to see a change for the better. You want you want to see a spark. You want to be happy at the end of the day with the Nine of Cups energy. And you're thinking about doing that on your own. But there is a family dynamic at play here. I feel like a lot of people depend on you guys here. Okay. So that is what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.